Come no closer. Heed my words. You endanger more than your life should you approach. A foolish spirit. My ambition brought me low. But I won't allow it to happen to another. The book before you bears a terrible curse, as do two others. You can hear it call to you, yes? But how? Are you strong enough to resist their call? Could you bring them to the shrine and finish what I did not? Heed my words. The forbidden knowledge within those books isn't for this world. They must be destroyed. The curse upon each tome is designed to feed souls to oblivion. But if you are able to resist their pull, you can collect the tomes and bring them to the shrine for their destruction. On the shores of Canarthi's Roost, beyond the town of Mistral, it is lit by an ever-burning flame. Should you collect all the tomes, bring them to the shrine without delay. No matter how strong you believe you are, I fear the tomes are stronger. Finally, Beza Joe will find this fabled brush. What? What is this? Please, no. This one will stop looking. Let's see if it was worth it. Now you die. Not now, not ever. Gary is missing. Zulana's son. When his father succumbed to Skuma, Gary swore vengeance upon the smugglers responsible. This one tried to stop him from going by himself, but Gary wouldn't listen. Yes, that's Gary. Please, you must find him. He's all Zulana has left. Zulana heard many things in Mistral. Hazak leads the Skuma peddlers within a nearby cove. Its entrance is on the beach across from Cat's Eye Key. A vile Skuma peddler. Hazak destroys families and brings great warriors low with his filth. Skuma is distilled from moon sugar, which is sacred to we who worship the moons and stars. But those who use Skuma for pleasure quickly become slaves to its visions. Scum like Hazek profit from this addiction. 
Kari hasn't learned that fear and hatred cloud judgment. Zulana said he would be foolish to seek revenge, but he's a boy. And they have more important things to do than listen to their mothers, huh? He hurt his back in a terrible accident. He took skooma to relieve the pain, and it came to both sustain and enslave him. After years of its youth, he withered to a shell of his former self. Be gone, bandit. I'll never join Hazak. Mother sent you? It is good she can't see me trussed up like a sheep. Uh, the bandits were more challenging than I expected. She could have killed a few when she scouted the cave, but no, I must always be tested. You thought her a poor mewling widow? Ha! Mother is not entirely what she seems. She warned me to wait and watch before approaching Hazak's hollow. I have much to learn. I sought to avenge my father's memory, but was captured by bandits. Mother saw my capture and sent you here to assist. Next, you untie me and we kill Hazak for his crimes. Simple, you see? Then when you free me, I'll fight Hazak alone and will likely die. Hazak will poison more families with skooma, another will swear revenge, be captured by bandits, and wait for death in this cave. Or we can kill Hazak. Still simple, yes? Good. Now, untie my bonds so we can look for the key to Hazak's lair. Swish slash poke, done. I can hardly believe it. I'm free! around here somewhere.
willfully, but I do. Hurry. I need your help. My master's life is in danger. I'm part of an expedition from Eagle's Strand. While we explored the Temple of the Morning Springs, the dead began to rise. The others fled, but my master never emerged. I need your help. My master's life is in danger. I'm part of an expedition from Eagle's Strand. While we explored the Temple of the Morning Springs, the dead began to rise. The others fled, but my master never emerged. Aurelian taught me to know when I should ask for help. Well, I'm asking. Two magical wards you sealed... You have the will for this. But I do come. Have you done? And you have done what I could not. My husband now rests with the ancestors, free of the Skuma enslaving him. When Hazek embraced Skuma with more affection than he did with me, I gave him every chance to claw his way back. But Skuma peddlers are slavers of the mind itself. When Hazek turned his addiction into Enterprise, there was no return. Poisoned arrows to stun, a blade to finish. I spoke to each as they lay frozen on the dock, before adding crescent moons to their throats. These unclawed shaveskins had it coming for pulling Kari's father into their fold. I noted the ardor of the moons within you and sent you to aid Kari. That is help, yes? But I would know. How did my son fare against Hazak? Did he fight bravely as he was taught? Then Kari learns to stand with allies rather than on his own. He shows me he is ready. With time and training, he will honor his ancestors. Ajir Trajijazeri. We justly take by force. At Two Moons Dance, we study the thin line between justice and vengeance. We train so we will always know the difference. Enjoy your life, Walker. You never know when those you love can slip away. Gari, you did what Mother could not. I did what I knew to be right, to restore our family's honor. You've proven worthy of our name. Do you understand? Yes, Mother. I'll dance beneath the two moons, as you've taught me. Then we must complete your training. <laughs> 